So, what is the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary? The U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary was created as the U.S. Coast Guard Reserve on June 23, 1939, as a civilian component of the U.S. Coast Guard. However, with war clouds looming over Europe and the Pacific, it was decided that the U.S. Coast Guard needed a military reserve, and on February 19, 1941, Congress created the U.S. Coast Guard Reserve and the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary, which became the uniform volunteer component. Auxiliarists can perform the same duties as active duty personnel, with the exception of combat and law enforcement. To be a member, you must be at least 17 years of age, and while there is no upper age limit, you must be physically and mentally capable of doing the job that you choose. You cannot have a felony conviction. You can be involved as little or as much as you would like, and you have a chance to serve your country and your local community. So, what jobs are open to members of the auxiliary? There is a recreational vessel examiner. You may find yourself examining pleasure craft, paddle craft, or personal watercraft. There's public education. This can include giving presentations to the boating public about recreational boating safety, navigation, or other maritime subjects. Boat crews. After training, you can serve as a member of a crew, a navigator, or coxswain. Air crews, where there are auxiliary air units, you can qualify as a pilot or observer. There's marine safety. You can find yourself working with aids to navigation, pollution response, or assisting active duty personnel with commercial vessel examinations. There's food service. You can train to become a food service specialist. You can find yourself preparing banquets for special occasions or working alongside active duty personnel at a Coast Guard installation or even on a Coast Guard cutter. There's public affairs. You can find yourself assigned to cover auxiliary events, which can include boat and outdoor shows, parades, special events. You may be asked to write articles for auxiliary publications or go aboard a Coast Guard vessel or aircraft to photograph various missions or being assigned to a public information center during an emergency. Watch standing. You may find yourself manning a desk and answering phones at a Coast Guard installation or standing radio watch monitoring for calls of distress. There's information technology. You can find yourself working on various auxiliary or Coast Guard cyber platforms. And in human resources, you will be working with recruiting and the processing of new members to the auxiliary. And there's member training. You can lead or assist in continued training of auxiliary members on a wide variety of subjects. Collectively, the approximately 24,000 members of the Coast Guard Auxiliary contributes over 4.5 million hours of service each year and completed nearly 500,000 missions in service to support the Coast Guard. Every year, auxiliarists help to save approximately 500 lives and assist 15,000 distressed boaters and conduct over 150,000 safety examinations of recreational vessels and provide boater safety instruction to over 500,000 students. In total, the Coast Guard Auxiliary saves American taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars per year. Because the Coast Guard Auxiliary is not a military service, we hold offices as a pulp to rank. While the office insignia worn by the Auxiliary may look similar to ranks of Coast Guard officers, the difference is our shoulder boards, as you see, are silver and not gold like those of Coast Guard active duty and reserve officers. Also, where the Coast Guard shield is, the capital A can be seen to denote the person wearing uniform as a member of the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary. All new members join a flotilla and will belong to the flotilla their entire time in the Auxiliary. Even the National Commodore, which is the highest office in the Auxiliary, belongs to a flotilla. You can see some of the insignia and shoulder boards have a red A, while others have a silver or blue A. Red means the person wearing the uniform holds an appointed position, and the silver or blue A means the person holds an elected office. 
leaders of the auxiliary that hold leadership positions at the flotilla, division, district, and national levels are elected to these positions by members. A flotilla staff officer, or FSO, is appointed by the flotilla commander. A division staff officer, or SO, is appointed by the division commander. And a district staff officer is appointed by the district commander. Much like the branches of the U.S. Armed Forces, the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary are awarded medals and or ribbons for a variety of reasons. This can range from obtaining a certification, exemplary service, unit accommodations, or personal heroism. Also, members of the Auxiliary who are veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces can wear any decorations awarded to them or devices such as parachutists, aircrew wings, combat infantryman's badge, or any other badge that they are authorized to wear. Awards that can be earned by auxiliary members include Auxiliary Aviator, the Air Crew Badge, the Cutter Man Insignia, the Recreational Safe Boating Device, the Coxswain Insignia, Marine Safety Insignia, Boat Force Operations Insignia, Personal Watercraft Operator Insignia, and Operational Auxiliarist. So come and see what you've been missing. Enjoy the camaraderie that comes from being with others who also want to volunteer and serve their country and their communities. Are you interested in becoming a fellow river rat? You can join us at one of our monthly flotilla meetings. We meet at the U.S. Coast Guard Marine Safety Unit, Chicago, located at 555A Plainfield Road, Willowbrook, 60527, on the second Thursday of the month at 7.30 p.m. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. During the pandemic, our flotilla meetings are being held on Zoom. Send us an email to uscgaux3725 at gmail.com to request a link to the Zoom meeting. Separate Paradis, always ready.